This is the nine to three or waist to waist drill. Uh, I, I know you're excited because so far we've been just going over kind of some of the mundane things of getting into setup, um, getting into impact position, getting into follow through position. Well, now we're going to start moving. You're actually going to strike a golf ball. I know. Um, so I want you to keep in mind what you've been training with the impact position and what you've learned about the follow through position because you're basically now going to try to figure out how to move through those two positions. Okay, so reminder about the impact position. You're gonna have your weight all the way onto your left heel. Hips are open. Your right elbow is somewhat close to your side. Your left wrist is pretty flat and your right wrist has a cup to it. Um, just like so, there's a little bit of side tilt. Now, as you go to that follow through position, that side tilt continues. Those arms are fully extended now um, when the club's about parallel to the ground here and your hands are pointed somewhat behind you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a backswing to the club parallel to the ground or about waist height or what my first instructor referred to as uh, nine o'clock. So if you imagine a clock, we're gonna go from nine o'clock to three o'clock. So um, again, keep in mind those impact and follow through positions and then you're gonna practice going from waist height to waist height and this is really helping you feel where the club will extend out to. The only reason that the club goes all the way up here when you do a follow through is because you add more speed. It's not that you're manipulating and raising the club. The club is working out away from your body as your body chain or stalls it and causes it to move up. So now I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of these nine to three things and they're really for example purposes. Remember your swing is gonna look slightly different because your body is slightly different. You've got little tendencies. Um, but the big picture is trying to get into that good impact position and trying to get into that good follow through position. So the nine to three drill. That was about a B plus. There's the A. Okay, so the, the nine to three drill, again, swinging from waist height to waist height. The biggest problem that I typically see on this is because it's a short swing compared to the full swing, you're not gonna have a lot of time to shift your weight onto the left side. When you're practicing this, one of the common uh, issues that I see is that because it's a short swing, you're not gonna have a lot of time to shift your weight into that left heel. So you almost want to preset more, more to the left and you'll just have a little weight shift into that left side before you go to the follow through position. So just be aware of getting into that left heel kind of as quickly as you can.